Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this one is the The Complete Game Making Collection Software Bundle. Uh, this is actually a collection of game engines and DLC assets from the game creators. The ones you probably know of here are App Game Kit, App Game Kit Studio, and Game Guru. Now if you're regular to this channel, you know I've actually covered all of these in depth. I'll show you later on where you can get all of that information. But today I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to give you a very quick hands-on with each one of these engines, and then we'll come back and take a look at the bundle itself. So first we'll start off with Game Guru. Now this is uh, kind of a DirectX 8. DirectX 9-ish generation game engine, so you're not going to get the best visual fidelities you've ever seen, but what it is is really easy to work with. You've got all of the stuff you would need uh, for creating uh, game levels. You've even got uh, map creation, so you can uh, go ahead and uh, create train maps and so on, level placement, and then you've got all of the various different DLC assets that you can go ahead and dump into and start creating in row. I need to be in asset creation mode. Uh, but basically, this is where the DLC comes in, and you can start placing things in the world. So you can see it. There we go. I'm placing an entity way out here in the field. So you can see here, you just basically stop painting things into the world. Uh, and then you can wire up entities, so, such as this soldier guy right here. If I select him and select the properties on him, you're going to see, for example, the AI script controlling him is default.lua. You can change and program and handle logic uh, using the Lua programming language. Uh, otherwise, it's a very straightforward and simple uh, game engine. There's also tools in here for doing things like uh, some pathfinding. So here we can see this is like a character spawn uh, right there. And then there's the spawn zone. You come in again, everything uh, has properties and, and uh, scripts attached to it. So this is a trigger zone. Uh, you set the properties there, the sound that plays with it. You'll notice over here, if we go into uh, markers, that's where you've got a variety of these different things. So you can have uh, healing when you go into an area, hurting, uh, story advancement. You can have it trigger some sound when you walk into something. You've also got some basic CSG geometry creation uh, going on there. And then again, you have your entity. So if you want to start placing things in the world, you select the entity here, and then you basically just start painting and drawing in the world. So again, you're not going to get the best visual fidelity that you've ever seen. It really is sort of uh, Counter-Strike era graphics that you're dealing with. But if you're looking for an easy and accessible 3D game engine, Game Guru has always been both of those things, easy and accessible. Plus, you're getting a ton of DLC to get you started with. So if you have zero 3D game creation experience, Game Guru could be a good starting point. Um, also, do be aware, Game Guru Max is just releasing in early access, so if you're looking for a higher fidelity version, that is coming very soon. So that is the one thing here. The next one we've got is App Game Kit. Now, this one's a little bit harder to demonstrate uh, just because of the nature of what it works like. Uh, there are two tiers to App Game Kit. One is sort of uh, a basic style programming language. As you can see, uh, here is a simple... Um, Space Invaders type game, as soon as I find my mouse, there it is. Uh, here's the logic for it. It's a very straightforward, if you've done any basic programming, you got an idea what you're dealing with. Uh, the other part of this, there is tier two, which is a C or a C++ library you can use. Uh, it's got something like 1100 functions. So everything you see here, there's a C equivalent. So create a sprite, set the sprite location, and so on. Everything uses an ID base. So here you can see you're loading a sprite. Uh, of space into that ID right there, and then you create it, you set it. So again, you're just passing in that instance variable for each thing. It makes it very simple and straightforward to work with. Then if you want to work on the uh, C or C++ side of things, all of these functions are available, and then it works kind of like uh, an SDL or SFML style library, or maybe like a Raylib. Um, so it's interesting in that regard. It's also uh, Quoros platform. Now the cool thing here is you do get this editor for doing the um, their custom scripting language, the AGC language here. Uh, you can run it directly so you can see results. So it's a simple asteroid style game in this case. Uh, but one of the neat things they actually have is you can actually broadcast it out uh, and there's a mobile client. So you can actually write your code here and then just wirelessly send it to your device. There's also some VR functionality in here. Uh, it's um, constantly been updated over the years. Like when I checked this guy out, I think it was 2015. And since then, they do keep doing updates to it. The asset packs give you a bunch of sprites and graphics, etc., to work with when you are working with App Game Kit. Now, the last one that we're going to talk about is App Game Kit Studio. Now, this is App Game Kit behind the scenes. It's the same basic like programming language. So if we go here and look at the main, you're going to see here, again, it uses that uh, very simple basic style language. Uh, you do have full help over here. So if you want to see 
what the various different commands are. So say, for example, we're working with sprites, we could come down in here and you see all the various different functions for sprites. So like that, uh, your code is pretty straightforward. There is a uh, code completion, but what app game kit studio does is as a visual layer editor uh, on top of it and kind of gives you just an updated editing environment. So here you can do things like uh, drag and drop uh, into your world, manipulate things, uh, and so on. Uh, so that's uh, the whole idea. Basically, App Game Kit Studio is App Game Kit plus a visual editor. So in some ways, this actually uh, replaces the need uh, for App Game Kit Studio. It's a superset, I guess you could say, with a level editor built in. Uh, you've got tools here for layering things. You've got physics support built directly in here and so on. And again, you also have that broadcast ability so you can run it to the App Game Kit iOS or Android application and instantly test your application. Um, so yeah, they're all kind of complementary to each other. And that is that. So let's head on back over to the bundle and see what you're getting. As always, uh, the uh, bundles on Humble are organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value too, you get the stuff below it. Uh, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thank you so much if you do to support Game From Scratch. Uh, at the $1 tier, you're getting Game Guru and three asset packs, the Mega Pack, the Game Guru Cemetery Pack, and Game Guru itself. Now, if you're curious about how these packs work, basically they integrate directly inside. So here you can see Game Guru, uh, the install here. Uh, now, I've got it from previous purchases, so this is a slightly different pack than what you'll see. But what you'll see here is if I come in here, for example, and we look at um, the Entity Bank, uh, you're gonna see the various different packs. So I've got here a Fantasy Pack. I go into the Fantasy Pack, and you're gonna see you've got things like Buildings, and then a lot of times it's the straight up textures for them. And then it's X files, very straightforward um, 3D file format. Uh, you should be able to get X format importers for uh, most things out there. It, it's a bit of a, an antiquated format, but it does support rudimentary animation. Uh, and it's, it's original DirectX 3D uh, file encoding format. So that's what everything is encoded as. I do believe you can use these things in other engines, uh, but I wouldn't quote me on that one. I got that one from a forum, uh, not from an official license or anything, but everything is incorporated that way. At the same time, uh, you'll find uh, App Game Kit, very similar setup. So you come in here, you're gonna see, uh, the, so you got the tier one and tier two. Tier two, if I am not, I always mess up the, the um, terminology, but tier two is the C version, whereas tier one is the, uh, their basic type derived language. And then you come on down here, you'll see DLC, for example, giant asset pack. You've got a number of content assets. So you see, for example, we've got tank graphics, uh, all the things you need to go ahead and create a tank, for example. So the DLC you're going to get is slightly different in this pack to what I have installed because I just happen to have all these engines installed and ready to go already. All right, so that is the $1 uh, tier. It's Game Guru and three DLC kits. We move up to the next tier. This is a dynamic value, but right now it's about $20 USD. That's where you're getting App Game Kit and uh, the giant asset pack for App Game Kit and then a bunch more Game Guru uh, mega packs. So you're seeing the buildings pack, the mega pack, uh, camping pack, tools, shed, Death Valley combat pack, and then the stuff we got from the earlier tier. By the way, any of the, one of these things you can drill down and learn more about exactly what you are getting in it. Uh, these are all redeemed on Steam, and this is Windows only, by the way. In the case of Game Guru, App Game Kit is cross-platform, though. Uh, then we get into the full fat. This is 25 items for $25 US or $32 Canadian. Now you're going to get App Game Studio, uh, and then a bunch of uh, asset packs, uh, a visual editor for App Game Kit Classic, uh, which is a little bit weird because this sort of does this. Uh, but anyways, and then on top of that, some more Game Guru uh, asset packs. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. So the nice thing with the Game Guru, if you want an easy introduction to 3D, this gives you a ton of content to play around with it as well. So you've got fully textured models ready to drag and drop into your scene. You've got uh, music and so on to work with. Uh, sound effects, and it kind of gives you a good starting point. Uh, again, everything is a little bit on the antiquated side. Uh, Game Guru Max is launching in early access, for example, and these things have been around for uh, five or 10 years. Uh, but, oh, and I should mention also the App Game Kit VR is added via a DLC right here. So otherwise you, you don't actually get VR support. I did, I did a video on this as well. And on that topic, um, I did a video on 
uh, App Game Kit 2 way back in July. Uh, kind of walks you through both the C++ and the basic side of things. I did one on App Game Kit Studio, including a full tutorial over on Dev Game, if you're interested in checking that one out. And I did a tutorial video or an introduction to Game Guru. Uh, where I quite literally questioned, is this the easiest 3D game engine? And that still may be true. This is a incredibly simple game engine to use. There's been a couple um, game game engines that have been added since. Uh, names aren't coming to me immediately. Uh, that might be slightly easier, but in terms of uh, codable game engines, it's still one of the easiest ones out there if you want to go ahead and check that out. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the complete game making collection. Uh, per, really the stars of the show here are App Game Kit Studio, the App Game Kit VR add-on, Game Guru 3D Game Engine, and then the OG App Game Kit, which also includes a C slash C++ framework if you'd rather work at that level of code, and then a ton, a metric ton or an imperial ton or a tone of uh, DLC packs for all of those things. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.